Sir, no touching your artifact. Sir, did I stutter? We were all told not to touch items in museums, or else it would be destroyed. But how does that happen? Well, humans love to touch things. It gives a sense of authenticity to holding ancient items. However, human hands are, let's be honest, absolutely disgusting. Even the most careful hand washers have oils on their hands, which could accelerate the decomposition of biological materials. Oils in your hands also corrode metals, like in the example of the statue of Victor Noir in Père Lachaise Cemetery. Notice anything unusual about this statue? No, he didn't urinate himself. In fact, this is a result of countless human, usually female, hands. There is a superstition that touching the statue's crotch and kissing him on the lips will grant a better love life. And you can tell just how much that's affecting his statue. One can see the effects happening to the copper statue, as it changes in color from green to, well, copper. Ancient relics are also likely to be fragile after such a long time, and also made of biological materials. Wooden coffins, papyrus sheets, wooden clothing, bones, etc. are all vulnerable to decomposition due to the acidity of the oil in your skin. Human skin is actually very acidic, with a pH level of around 5. This means that any artifact you touch could eventually be degraded beyond recognition, like the fake Rosetta Stone replica in the British Museum, which has to be replaced every couple of years due to how many people touch the thing. It's actually kind of sort of related to how touching your face too much can cause acne. However, it's more than just that kind of touching that museums are looking out for. After all, it doesn't cause severe damage in toppled statues, like pushing on them, or stumbling into them, as occasionally happens. Some instances include a statue of Dom Sebastien, which was destroyed by a selfie seeker, the townly Venus, which had its thumb knocked off by a caterer, and also this. All this isn't even going to things like drop food. So does this mean that I can't touch this shield because I have, like, acid fingers or something like that? Yeah, that's pretty much what happens. Wow, I'm like some sort of superhero, man. Sir. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video informative or entertaining, please be sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe for more in the future. And I will see you next Sunday.